Now we will discuss speed limit of a vehicle on bank road. That is, there are two speed limits that is lower speed limit and upper speed limit of vehicle on bank road. As earlier we have studied, this figure shows the vertical section of a vehicle moving along curved bank road. Now here you can see the road is banked at an angle theta. The mass of this vehicle is m which is moving along a curved bank road of radius r. Now in this case the number of forces acting on the vehicle is number 1. Its weight mg which is acting vertically downwards. Normal reaction between the road and the vehicle which is perpendicular to the bank road. And this normal reaction n we can resolve it into two components. Vertical component n cos theta and horizontal component n sin theta. And the most safety speed of the vehicle on this bank road as we derive the equation for this that is V s that is the most safety speed of this vehicle on this curved bank road is V s is equal to root R g tan theta. This equation we derived earlier. But in actual practice vehicle never travels exactly with this speed and the other component of force of static friction need to be considered in this case and this force of static friction which will exist between the road and the tire surface or lower speed limit for lower speed limit Vs that is this maximum safety speed along a curved bank road should be less than root Rg tan theta and the centripetal force that is mv square upon r should be less than n sin theta and as we have discussed we need to consider the force of friction in this case so due to this condition for finding the lower speed limit in which vs less than under root rg tan theta and centripetal force here you can see this n sin theta directed along the radius towards the center which is acting like a centripetal force so this centripetal force should be less than this component n sin theta therefore the force of static friction is directed along the inclined road and it will direct it outwards so it will exist in between the road surface and the tire and due to this situation or this condition this force of static friction which is denoted by letter fs is directed along the inclined road and outwards now this this force of static friction we can resolve it into two components that is the vertical component f sin theta the vertical component here which is f sin theta fs sin theta and the horizontal component here which is f s cos theta this is theta over here now from this figure we can clearly see that this component n cos theta and component f sin theta both are directed in upward direction in the same direction and both of these two components are going to be balancing this weight mg therefore we can write it as mg is equal to fs sin theta plus n cos theta whereas the component n sin theta which is directed towards the center and the component f cos theta which is directed outwards both are in the opposite direction and their resultant is going to be the centripetal force therefore we can write the centripetal force that is mv square upon r is equal to n sin theta minus fs cos theta we can write mv square upon r divided by mg is equal to n sin theta minus fs cos theta divided by fs sin theta plus n cos theta but for minimum speed but for minimum speed fs 
is going to be maximum and is going to be equal to mu s into n. Therefore, substituting the value of coefficient of static friction in this equation. Therefore, substituting this value of f s in this equation, we are going to get this m will get cancelled with this m. So, we can directly write equation as v square upon r g is equal to n sin theta minus mu s n cos theta upon mu s n sin theta plus n cos theta. We have just substituted the value of this fs is equal to mu s into n in this equation because we want to find out the minimum speed and for this minimum speed the fs that is force of static friction should be maximum and is equal to mu s into n. So we have got this equation. Now in this equation we can take out this in common from numerator as well as from the denominator. So we are going to get v square upon rg is equal to sin theta minus mu s cos theta upon mu s sin theta plus cos theta. We are going to get v square upon rg is equal to this sin theta upon cos theta we are going to get tan theta minus sin as it is mu s as it is cos theta upon cos theta will be 1 that is mu s only divide by mu s sin upon cos will be tan theta so we can add this is mu s tan theta plus sin as it is cos theta upon cos theta that is 1 now by rearranging the term we are going to get the lower speed limit as therefore v minimum is equal to under root rg this is tan theta minus mu s upon mu s tan theta plus 1. So this is the equation for the lower speed limit of vehicle on banked road. As we can see in this equation of lower speed limit of a vehicle on curved banked road, it is independent of mass of the vehicle because the physical quantity m which indicates the mass of the vehicle is absent. So this equation of lower speed limit of a vehicle on curved banked road, it is independent of mass of the vehicle. Now let's derive equation for upper speed limit of a vehicle on banked road. In this case also as we can see the figure shows the vertical section of a vehicle moving along a curved bank road of radius r. Now in this case also as we know the number of forces acting on this vehicle is the very first force is weight acting vertically downward which is mg the normal reaction n between the road and the vehicle. The normal reaction n can be resolved into two components vertical component n cos theta and horizontal component n sin theta. For this upper speed limit the most safety speed vs it should be greater than root rg tan theta centripetal force that is mv square upon r it should be greater than the component n sin theta therefore the force of static friction which will exist between the road and the tire is directed along the inclined road and inwards. So this force of static friction it will exist over here which is directed along the inclined road and inwards. So we can denote it by Fs. Now this force of static friction can be resolved into two components that is the horizontal component and vertical component. So the horizontal component it becomes Fs cos theta whereas the vertical component which is acting vertically downward is Fs sin theta where 
this is angle theta now from this figure it is very much clear that the component n cos theta and the component f sin theta they are opposite to each other and they gives us the resultant that is mg so we can write this equation as mg is equal to n cos theta minus fs sin theta n cos theta in upward direction fs sin theta in downward direction and resultant of this is given by the mg similarly if we look at this component n sin theta and f cos theta both are directed in the same direction and towards the center of the curved road which is acting like a centripetal force so we can write therefore the centripetal force that is mv square upon r is equal to n sin theta plus fs cos theta n sin theta plus fs cos theta both of these directed towards the center of the curved road so the resultant of these two is nothing but the centripetal force now therefore we are going to get mv square upon r divided by mg is equal to n sin theta plus fs cos theta upon n cos theta minus fs sin theta the maximum speed the value of fs is maximum and is equal to mu s into n so we are going to substitute the value of fs in this above equation this m will get cancelled with this m and therefore we are going to get v square upon rg is equal to n sin theta plus mu s into n cos theta upon n cos theta minus mu s into n sin theta now from numerator and denominator we can take out n common therefore we are going to get v square upon rg is equal to sin theta plus mu s cos theta upon cos theta minus mu s sin theta square upon rg is equal to sin theta upon cos theta we are going to get this is tan theta plus sin as it is mu s cos theta upon cos theta is 1 therefore only mu s whole divided by cos theta upon cos theta that is 1 minus mu s sin theta upon cos theta that is tan theta now by rearranging the term we are going to get the upper speed limit of a vehicle on banked road that is v max is equal to under root rg into bracket tan theta plus mu s upon 1 minus mu s tan theta so this is the equation for the upper speed limit of a vehicle on curved banked road and as you can see this equation is also independent of mass of the vehicle these are the two equation which we just derive for the speed limit of a vehicle on banked road this is for the lower speed limit which is v minimum and this is for upper speed limit that is v maximum of a vehicle on banked road if we do not consider the force of friction that is we need to put mu s is equal to 0 if mu s is equal to 0 then these two equation becomes that is v max as well as v minimum is equal to under root rg tan theta which is nothing but the most safe speed of vehicle on curved banked road and this equation is independent of mass of the vehicle this is most safe speed